Good morning, STM. As Canadians, we often forget how lucky we are to live in a country that is peaceful, wealthy, and economically stable. This morning, let us pray that our hearts will be open to those who are less fortunate than we are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, Father of our human family, who created all human beings equal in dignity, pour forth into our hearts a fraternal spirit and inspire in us a dream of renewed encounter, dialogue, justice, and peace. Move us to create healthier societies in a more dignified world, a world without hunger, poverty, violence, and war. May our hearts be open to all the peoples and nations of the earth, and may we recognize the goodness and beauty that you have sown in each, enough, in each of us, thus forging bonds of unity, common projects, and shared dreams. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now let us take a moment to watch the following clip. Every year, Development and Peace provides support to millions of people living in poverty or denied their most basic rights. Our partners come from the grassroots and our global Caritas network, accompanying people as they strive to build a better future. Over the years, our logo may have changed, but our mission of solidarity with the poor has not. Across Canada, our members work to change unfair and harmful systems guided by the richness of Catholic social teaching. Today we work for human dignity in over 30 countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East, thanks to the generous support of people just like you. Will you join us? This short clip is a sad reminder that our sisters and brothers in the global south and in other parts of the world are in need of help. In, in his recent encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis calls us to live the love that would make us one great family, where all of us can feel at home, a love that includes compassion and dignity. Therefore, on behalf of Development and Peace, a Catholic Canadian organization that through donations and fundraising support those in need, we want to invite you to participate in this year's virtual Think Fast. This Thursday and Friday, youth across Ontario will, vir will virtually unite and fast from 3 p.m. on Thursday till 4 p.m. on Friday. Pledge to raise and donate $25 and participate virtually in various activities. Also, every participant will receive 25 volunteer hours. If you're looking for a way to help the less fortunate from the comfort of your home and are in need of volunteer hours, this is an amazing opportunity. Please follow the instructions that are posted on the school board's volunteer website, check your LMS, or contact Mr. Block. Thank you and see you there. Good morning, St. Thomas More. Semester two, term two cohort information is now available on your MyPath account. Please make sure to check your account as cohorts for many students have changed. Also, a reminder that this Thursday, March 11th, is the first day of your semester two, term two class. Cohort B students will attend face-to-face, -face, while cohort A and online students will access their course and instruction on their class LMS page and Microsoft Teams. Tomorrow, Wednesday, March 10th, will be the last day to make any changes to your Term 2 class. For those students that have not yet registered for the 2021-2022 school year, please make an appointment with your guidance counselor immediately if you plan to attend STM in the fall. If we do not hear from you, we will assume that you will not be returning and will remove you from our roster. Some courses are already full and others are filling up quickly. Please do not delay. For our grade 12 students, if you are not returning next year, please complete the blue school leaving form, which can be found in the guidance office. For our online grade 12 students, Ms. Shields has posted this form on her LMS page. Please download the form, complete it, and email it back to Ms. Shields for processing. Finally, are you checking your guidance, L guidance counselor's LMS page daily? If not, you should be. Have a great day, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Kaylin, and we, I am here for your morning announcements. 
A message from Mr. Gagne to the students enrolled in AMK 101, Grade 9, Keyboard Class, Block 2. Please pick up your course materials today in Room 150. Your course materials for AMK 101 with Mr. Gagne will be available from 1.30 to 1.40 today in Room 150. To all students in Ms. Bozo's Block 2, Grade 10, Academic Math Class, please stop by Room 320 today after school to pick up your course package. Thank you. Good morning. On behalf of the staff and students of STM, I'd like to congratulate our president, Abby Montague, for being nominated in the Trailblazer category for the 45th Annual YWCA Women of Distinction Awards. In her nomination profile, she was described as a mover and a shaker within her community and a, leadership, a leader among her peers. A Abby has been busy both within and outside the STM community. She's been involved in extracurricular activities in the school since grade nine. Among the various activities she is involved with this year at STM, she is showing her great leadership skills as president of student council and is also a founding member of the STM United Against Racism group. Together with her sisters, she launched Janice Skills for Success to help empower youth through volunteerism and leadership development and has also co-launched Black Owned Hamilton, a platform to showcase and support black owned businesses. You may have seen her article on the board or school website or even seen her interview on CHCH News. Great job, Abby. We're proud of all your achievements. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.39. Have a great day.